Welcome to Thriller Bar. Welcome to Update 5. Shut up! Welcome to Update 5. Now, there is a lot to go over. And I mean a lot. Look at all the things on me. And Update 5 has a lot for you to do, a lot of new content, and I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the hardest updates we've ever had, and it might keep us grinding for a very long time. So, I'm gonna let y'all boys know all the new things in the game, all the new items, all the new bosses, or everything, just everything. Let's get straight into it. Now, I did drop a video right before this one came out about the all-seeing eye. Yep, Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Now, this item is tradable, I have confirmed that it is tradable. And what is the all-seeing eye, you may ask? The all-seeing eye is the new infinite notifier. Grants the beholder two it times lied. Logia and identifies and locates the devil fruits as they spawn. This is the new infinite notifier. As long as you have this item equipped, when a devil fruit spawns, you will know. It will spawn on your screen. It'll tell you the exact fruit and the location so there's no more time wasting running all the way to the fruit if it's not the fruit you want also you need to know if you paid for the devil fruit notifier before you have this item for free as soon as you get into the game the infinite notifier used to cost 70 dollars i don't know how much the new one is going to cost but i'm assuming it's going to cost money now you can trade this item meaning if you are rich you can trade this item for every fruit in the game times five okay and then buy another infinite notifier literally and basically you could get the infinite notifier for free now all you need to do is get enough fruits and trade for it and also if you have an account that has this item the infinite notifier change your password right now people will be me for this item this is the most valuable item in the game now do not lose it do not be stupid do not trust anyone with your account I'm not too sure if this is gonna stack with the Logia weekend or not. We're gonna have to wait and see. Now, most of you already know the changes to the UI. Now we have different sections for different things. If you're looking for a specific thing, you can find it. Weapons, fruits, items, ships, and cosmetics. Now we have two new devil fruits, and I wouldn't call them new, the, they have just been revamped the model the model of the fruit has been revamped the first one is the goro goro no mi yes the goro goro no mi has been completely revamped i won't lie to you it looks really good the magu magu no mi in my opinion it looks completely terrible now i prefer the old model through and through this new version new variation it doesn't look bad i just prefer the old model next we have the bomi's log post this log post can take you to any island all you need to do is click find island and all the islands this is the second sea all the islands in second sea all you have to do is click on it and it will take you there fill a bark coliseum arc and it takes you right there simple as that very easy and it does the same thing in the first sea this is going to be a game pass now we do have a new ship and it is called the thriller ship well it's called the thrilled ship it looks pretty good it's got the theme to it it's kind of Halloween-y, spooky-ish, you know, it's pretty big. The insides look pretty cool. And it has 85 speed, meaning it's the same speed as a Coppin boat. You are able to buy this boat. I don't know if it's a droppable as well, but I know for sure you're able to buy this boat with Robux. So another feature, well, they've added the day and night cycle again. So at night time, the lighting isn't the best, but it looks really pretty. And that's the good part about it. Now I'm going to take you guys through all the new drops and collectibles, items that you get from bosses around Thriller Bark. I'm going to put a big list of them to the side of the screen so y'all can see. And I'll just try on outfits whilst switching through each of them.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take y'all boys to what you really wanna know, Thriller Bark. So to get to Thriller Bark from where, from Reverse Island, Thriller Bark is directly in between North East and East, but I'm gonna kinda take y'all boys there. I'm gonna fast forward the video, take y'all boys there because Alabaster is in the way. You are now at Thriller Bark. Now that we're at Thriller Bark, I can casually take y'all boys through the island. Now, I won't lie to you, there isn't much going on. You can buy your log post and you can set your spawn. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Once you set your spawn and you bought your log post, you can run through here. Thriller Bark gets really dark at night. So you might wanna come to Vale and you can buy this lamp. Now, the light doesn't really illuminate that much, but it's still better than being in complete and utter darkness. Now, before I take you guys to the main part of the castle, I'm gonna take you guys here. Because over here is where you're gonna need to come. So you're gonna travel through this long walkway. Yes, filler block is kind of big for no reason, but you know, it's cool. Here you will see the uh, copy and pasted um, Halloween update stuff. You could, you know, defeat some zombies and it gives you not the best EXP, but a decent amount. So let's say you're, you're not max level yet. You're still level 425. Um, here gives decent XP, but you don't level up as quick if you were to stay in Fisherman Island. So I do recommend if you want to get to the new max level, you're better off just farming Fisherman Island. But again, it is what it is. You want to come here and experience the new island, you may as well come experience the new island. This zombie's gonna be very annoying. Okay, so this is the room you defeat this boss. This boss will drop an item. This boss will drop the sword, the armor he's wearing and a soul. You're gonna need two of those souls and I'm gonna show you which soul it is in a second. Let me just get to a safe spot. So, this is the soul that's gonna drop from defeating that boss. And you're gonna need two of them. And I'll explain why you're gonna need two of them later. So please, defeat the boss, collect all the drops from him. He drops um, the sword, he drops armor, uh, and he drops something else, I'm pretty sure. Don't remember, DNC. I put all the drops on the screen before, so it doesn't really matter. Now, once you have two of his souls and all the drops that you want slash need, you're gonna come over here. And this is the main building. You can do a quest from him. I don't know what he gives though. Doesn't matter to me. Now, once you fight him, you're gonna come inside this building. There's a bunch of quests here. These zombies are pretty strong, so be careful. And then you're gonna fight the guy here. He has the gauntlets. You're gonna need to defeat him twice. I'm not gonna get close because he'll aggro. In order to get this soul, you need this soul. You need two of them as well. So you get his soul and you get the other soul. He has drops of gauntlet, he drops some armor and I think he drops something else as well. Oh no. You're gonna need to put the soul in. One soul, two souls. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta defeat this guy. Now we're gonna get this soul, put it here. One, two, and then.
Now, this boss is really hard. Like, this is not a joke. <laughs> uh, now, you're not going to be able to solo this. Well, I don't know. Some of y'all boys are really try hard and may, may find a way to do it. But he can attack you from anywhere in the room. So, if you have Pika, you can't even hit him from here. Maybe if I go close to here, you can do this. Doesn't matter. He can hit you from everywhere once he has aggro on you. And he has a lot of health. He has a lot of health. And he's pretty hard. He summons little, little ghouls to try deal with you with. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here before we end up dying. He's very hard. Um, and he has a lot of drops, so you're gonna need to farm him. And that is literally all for this island. And you may be asking, Ags, how do we get Brooks drops? You have the Soul King guitar. How do we get this drop? In order to get the Soul King drops, every I think it's every 30 minutes or every hour. Don't quote me, but it's one of those two. The soul ship will spawn. The soul ship will spawn and you, you'll be able to go board the ship and fight Brooke. When the soul ship spawns, it will notify the whole server. It will notify the whole server and I'm pretty sure it lets you know where the ship is. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to, um, you know, been lucky enough to actually try this experience, but trust me, it's in the game, hence, me having the guitar right now um and brook is not easy so you might want to take some friends but he has a lot of drops and he has some good drops and very collectible drops you guys have seen the stats and buffs and bonuses each of these drops give some of them are collectible some of them aren't but you're going to want to farm every single drop in this update because they all give both they all give good bonus hp armor whatever it is they all give good bonus stats however that is not it for update 5 there's some there's one more thing i need to tell you guys about now i need to show you guys one more island and that island is foro island this island is where you're going to be able to get the ha observation hockey v2 quest <laughs> and trust me you're going to want observation hockey v2 i'm gonna take you guys where Okay, we're here. Now, unfortunately, this is an island that you're not able to see on. <laughs> Again, I don't know what's up with update five and barely visible islands, but this island is not your friend and it's gonna piss you off. So once you come inside this cave, you're gonna meet this guy. And in order to get observation hockey V2, you have to do the most annoying thing in the world. And if you fail, you have to spend another 50k to do it again. Y'all boys, make sure you're rich when you come here. Check this out.
This is the most annoying. The most annoying thing ever. Now, if you're a good OC player, yeah, go ahead, right? But this is not my idea of a fun way of obtaining hockey, observation hockey v2.